Hello everyone. I miss you guys. Hopefully you're all doing okay and staying safe and also following all of the recommendations by the Center for Disease Control as well as our public uh, our officials, our public leaders, our governors, mayors, etc. that's trying to keep everyone safe. So as you all are aware, or we are going to an online format um, as of right now for the remainder of the semester. If anything changes, then I'll notify you guys about that. Um, but as of right now, it is the online format we will be using for the remainder of the semester. With that being said, I've made a few modifications on the Blackboard site. One in particular, let me turn this off. You're gonna see a tab that says weekly modules. Going forward, all, you, all, all of your work will be here on the tab that says weekly modules. So I'm gonna click on the weekly modules tab. Okay, so our first chapter is chapter seven, beginning next week. Um, so with chapter seven, if you click on the week 10, chapter seven module, you have the study objectives, PowerPoint, lecture notes, and also by Monday, you also have a video lecture for chapter seven. This chapter is a short chapter on internal controls and uh, on the cash, but I will create a video lecture to mainly focus on how to reconciliation because the internal control process portion is more reading, but I'll discuss that as well. So you will have by Monday, March 30th, a video lecture on chapter seven as well. I want to talk about these Wiley Plus icons you see here, okay? Going forward, all of your work will be completed using the Wiley Plus software. Now, our Wiley Plus publisher has graciously given every student a free access code to use the Wiley Plus software. You are sent an email with an access code next to your name. You're going to use that access code to register for the Wiley Plus software. To begin the process of the registration, when you come to these links here, you can click on any of these links to take you to the Wiley Plus site. So I'm gonna click on one of these links. I'll click on the Wiley Plus reading. Okay. And what it does, it takes you to the reading for chapter seven. So although you all have your textbook, you also now have an ebook. Okay, every student will have access to the ebook by using Wiley Plus. Now, when you all first click on the Wiley Plus link, you're not going to see this. You're first going to have to register. Okay. Now, once you have registered and put in your access code, then it'll take you to the information for that particular link. Now I'm going to show you something different. I'm going to go to a different browser just to show you something. Let me go here. I'm going to go to the weekly modules and I'm going to click on chapter seven. I'm going to click here again and notice that nothing happened. So watch again. I'm going to click here again and it spins around and it takes me back to the same site. You may experience that is based upon how you set up your browser. If your browser does not allow pop-ups, then it's going to take you right back to the Blackboard site. If that happens, you can do one of few things. You can work on changing your browser to allow pop-ups. Do that in your settings for the computer. Or you could just try going to a different browser. So maybe if you're using Internet Explorer, you can try Google Chrome or Firefox, and sometimes it doesn't work on one browser, but it does on another browser. And if for some reason you switch browsers still not working, you can type in Wally Plus and go to the Wally Plus IT support, and you can do a live chat with a technician that will walk you through how to change your computer settings, to give you access to the Wally Plus software. I've also asked the rep to send me a document that I can download 
that it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that as well. Okay, but for now, I'm going to go back here. So this is the reading for Chapter 7. It's the same information that's in your textbook that you can actually read. I want you to also take a look at some of the resources that you have on the Wiley Plus site. There are actual videos out there for every chapter. In addition to the lecture videos, I'll just click on one here, play it for a second. Hi, I'm Paul Kimmel. In this chapter, we talk about fraud and internal control. Internal controls protect companies' assets and accounting records from fraud. All business people need to understand internal controls. Let me give you a personal example. Before I coming in on weekends and stealing. So I'm not going to go through all of that, but again, just want to show you that you have additional resources out there under the Wiley Plus site. Some other resources that you have out there in addition to the overview video, I'm going to click on a solution walkthrough video. Let's click on to choose chapter seven again. So maybe you're having a question on how do I do a reconciliation statement? Actually, your uh, party homework is problem 748. This is similar. And what it's going to do, it is going to walk you through how to complete the actual homework assignment. So again, I'm not going to play the entire video, but you now have additional resources at your disposal company. that you all can access on In the addition, Wiley Plus site. Okay, so come out of here. So the tab over here where it says chapter resources, it will show you all of the resources you have available that you all can take advantage of on the Wiley Plus site. There's also practice assignments. They got reviews, self-study, problem set. So you can work on all these different assignments to get a better understanding of the information that's covered in each of these chapters. I want to go back to the week 10, chapter seven, folder in Blackboard for a second. Now, notice that I've added more requirements. Mm-hmm. Because now you're at home, gotta keep you focused, right? Because you gotta lose focus pretty quickly. So now for every chapter, you have to do a homework assignment as well as a quiz for each chapter. Yep, I'll say it again. Now you have to do a homework assignment and a quiz for every chapter. So I'm gonna click on the chapter seven homework and that will take me to the Wiley Plus site again. Notice that it is due by 11.45 p.m. on April the 6th. Your assignment will already be due on Monday of the following week. Now, you can work on the homework as many times as needed to get it 100% correct up until the due date. If you do work after the due date, it will deduct points for late submission, okay? But if it's up to the due date, so I'll click on the exercise 7-3. You can work with this assignment as many times as you need to. Well, because I'm the instructor, it's done for me already. Sorry, you look at that luxury. Um, but you work on this assignment as many times as you need to and get it correct. As long as you have it submitted by the due date, you will earn 10 points for each of the homework assignments. In addition, you will also have a quiz for each chapter. Now the quizzes are timed. I'll pull the quiz up. And so this quiz has five questions. And I think I gave you 60 minutes to do the actual quiz, which is ample time. But now the quiz is you only have one attempt. Okay. So once the quiz has been opened, it must be completed within that one attempt but you can also earn up to 10 points for each quiz. So I'm giving you another way of earning points for the course in addition to the homework, as well as completing your exams, okay? So I'll go back to the chapter 10 weekly module. So again, you have the objectives, you have the PowerPoint presentation, lecture notes, I'm gonna to add to that a video presentation. 
This will take you to the actual reading for chapter seven and those other supplemental resources, your chapter of homework and your chapter seven quiz. Okay, in addition, I have revised the course schedule and revised course schedule just indicates what we're gonna cover during our remaining class schedule, move that over. So we're covering chapter seven, beginning March, should be March 30th, actually beginning March 30th, chapter eight the following week, and then chapter nine. You also have an exam on chapter seven, eight, and nine, the week of April 20th. Possibly the exam will be online, most likely, if we're allowed to come back on campus and to be administered through the testing center, but right now, I'm just assuming that we're going to be online after the remainder of the semester. I plan for that. So you will have an online exam administered through the Wiley Plus site, and you will hear more about the exam format closer to the exam date. Okay? So make sure that you register for Wiley Plus. You can do it this week. Today, I believe it's the 26th or the 27th, something like that. I forgot what day it is. But you need to have this done by Monday. I know you guys are still on quote or extended spring break, but if I'm working, you should be working too, right? Right. So you still have access to your instructor. You can contact me via email, uh, via by phone. We also have software through Blackboard Collaborate where if we need to do an actual class presentation where I can see you guys, you can see me, you can work problems out. We do have that ability to do that as well. So we're all in this together. We'll get through this all together. Our main concern is the safety of our students. So hopefully you guys are taking uh, heed to the direction given by the Center for Disease Control for us, the uh, social distancing, limiting your um, activity with other people, staying at home as much as possible, I know some of you guys have to go to work. We do understand that, but our main goal is for everyone to be safe and so that we can get back to, quote, what we consider to be our normal course of life. If you have any questions on how to register, anything of that nature, just want to say hi, again, you can call me, email me, feel free to reach out, and um, I'll talk to you all soon. Okay, take care.